I've just realised that the videos entitled Fredit for Beginners explain how to use Fredit, but they don't explain how to get hold of it in the first place. So this part zero of the series will show you how to get a copy of Fredit and how to install it on your computer. So Fredit's available on my website and if we have a look at the URL that's here and uh, so let's load that. Uh, here's the page, uh, it's the free macros and down the bottom here is Fredit. So as the latest version available there, so click on that and it will download that. There we are and we can have a look at that. Let's get rid of that. So uh, we want a directory to pop these into, so let's have this one here, Fredit, and let's copy all those and drop them into there, paste them into there, that's it, so we can get rid of that. So now we've got our various macro, uh, various files for the Fredit macro. The first one there is instructions, but as I'm uh, showing you the way through, we won't need that. The second one is the macro itself, so if we double click on that, uh, it says that uh, it's a, maybe a dodgy file, so let's enable editing there. It's come off the internet, so, so uh, uh, select the whole text, copy the whole text, then we can get rid of that. And now we want to be able to put this into uh, Word, where the macros are stored. Uh, different ways to find that. You need the macros window. Uh, on mine, I can do Alt F8. And that brings up the macros window. Um, on a Mac, it would probably be Option F8. Uh, you can pull it off the View menu. Uh, view and then over to the right here is macros so you can pull it off there and if you've got a developer tab it's on there as well so there's macros there so that uh, gives you that one so to put the macro into Word we need to say that we want to edit any one of these macros so that we get into the area where VBA stores the macros and I use control end to go down to the bottom I give myself a blank line there and then paste in the macro and there we have the Fredit macro in and ready to use so we can close that window if we click the top right X to close it that will save that macro as part of the overall set of macros and uh, We've got here a couple of files, sample and sample text and sample list. So we can actually try out the macro just to make sure that it's working. So if we load up the sample text and again enable editing because it's come off the internet and sample list and do the same again. So we can now click in the sample text and run the Fredit macro. So that's Alt F8 for me, and FR will take us to Fredit, there it is, and run that, and you can see that it's made some changes to the text, and those changes were specified on this list here, but you'll learn all that, uh, all about that in part one of this series. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.